Fibroids are the most common gynecological tumors, often found from young women onwards. A woman in her 20s right up until her 50s could have fibroids in the uterus. There are different types of fibroids. These are solid tumors and if they are found on the inner surface of the uterus, they are called submucosal fibroids. Submucosal fibroids cause a lot of pain, irregular or heavy bleeding and cause infertility. The fibroids which are found in the substance of the womb are called intramural fibroids and the one located on the outer surface of the uterus are called subserosal fibroids. These are often asymptomatic but if large can cause heaviness, pressure upon the neighboring organs. Fibroids need to be treated in certain cases, especially if they cause heavy bleeding, pain, infertility or pressure. The treatment is usually laparoscopic for intramural or subserosal fibroids. Tiny cuts are made on the surface of the abdominal wall. With a camera inside the uterus, a telescope is introduced and the fibroids are removed. Following which, they are made into small pieces by the help of a morcellator and pieces of these fibroids are then removed through just a 1 cm cut on the abdomen. The laparoscopic surgery gives extremely good results. The patient can go home in just a day or two after the surgery. She recovers very well and is able to go home in 2-3 to three days. Even large fibroids have been operated by us with extremely good results. In terms of fertility, in terms of pain, bleeding, all of them show significant improvement. Submucous fibroids, however, are treated differently. These are treated by hysteroscopic surgery, where a telescope and a camera is introduced from inside the uterus without any cuts or stitches, and the fibroid is actually shaved off from within the uterus. This procedure is even more simple, less traumatic, and gives immediate relief to the patient. Very rarely is medical treatment for fibroids recommended and if it is done, it is only temporarily. So the treatment for fibroids is essentially surgical. Once in a while you may have to do an open surgery, but almost always endoscopic surgery gives excellent results.